Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Just kidding. I am not doing my makeup tutorial like this boy. Give me two seconds. Put some clothes on, tie up my hair properly, make sure it's not dripping. This is how I'm going to start the video. So guys, one of my subscribers, I think she's a subscriber, I don't know, I'm hoping she's a subscriber. But anyway, she literally like read my mind. She suggested basically for me to do Irene's makeup from the MV Psycho, which I absolutely loved. That was a banger, so thank you so much to Bella for suggesting it. And that is what I'm going to do today. The look from Irene Psycho is this one. When I saw it, I was like, wow. It just grabbed my attention, so this is what I am going to do today. So I have already creamed my face. I am going to get started with the eyes, as I usually do. So I'm going to use the Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer in the shade 2 and put that all over my eyelids. Once I have done that, I'm just going to grab the MUA Makeup Academy setting powder and I'm going to put that all over my eyes basically, just using just some any fluffy brush, just because I don't want the eyeshadow to crease. And then I'm just going to use a fluffy brush and brush away the excess. Fluffy brush? I mean a bigger brush. It is fluffy as well. Now the fun part. So guys, with this makeup, it's very orangey. So she's got an orange base all around. So that is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use the Desert Dusk Huda Beauty Palette. And I'm going to take Blazing. Because this is going to be a hot look. And take that all the way through your cut crease. And above. Now also, wow, <laughs> now also take it across the eyelid, but not into the middle because at the end of the day we're going to cut the crease in the middle and add the glitter that Irene has. So there's no point of really covering the middle section. You can if you want, but no point. So take it across the outer corner and the inner corner of your eyelid. If you get in the middle, it is fine. And now I'm just going to add the colour Amber from the same palette because I feel like this is too orange and hers is a little bit more bronzy from what I can see in the photo. And I'm going to take it through the cut crease just to make it a bit darker. And then just blend that all together. Now you're looking like a complete orange clown, but it does get better, trust the process. Now I'm gonna use a flat brush and conceal the middle part. Now hers goes all the way to the top, the glitter, so that's where I'm gonna do it too, because I am doing a replica at the end of the day. I feel like an absolute clown like this, guys. You don't. <laughs> I'm dead. But I am copying the look, so God, wish me luck, boy. And now I'm gonna take my other Huda Beauty palette, and it is the Rose Gold palette remastered. And I'm gonna take the color Trust Fund from it. Now I don't have anything that bright, bright, glittery to use, so this is the closest color that I'll probably get to it because I feel like hers is a bit more orangey and this is like a bit more bronze. Oh, actually, it's very similar. Okay, yes. Okay, this look is a bit weird for me, I'm not gonna lie, probably because I haven't blended everything together, but this is why I never do a crease like this. But let's blend and let's hope it all comes together, really. There we go, that is a bit more comfortable to look at. Now she has the thinnest eyeliner ever. So I'm gonna try my hardest to stick to that eyeliner. <laughs> Guys, I've also decided, because hers is so glittery, to add Cosmo from the Desert Dusk palette to it as well. Only did a bit with my finger, just to make it extra glittery. I'm gonna be using the NYX matte one. Her eyeliner is so thin, it's unreal. So I'm gonna try my hardest to do as well as possible. 
and it kind of just starts from here really. But I'm crappy with thin eyeliner, this is the thinnest I could get it. And her eyeliner stops halfway from what I see in the photo, so that's how I'm going to leave it. And this is a makeup replica tutorial, obviously if it was me I would take it all the way through. But I'm not going to do that because you guys wanted a tutorial on the exact look. Okay. <clears throat> guys, have faith in the process because it will get better. I know we look like clowns at the moment, but time to curl my eyelashes. Wait till your eyeliner is dry, otherwise it's going to go onto the curler and probably onto your eyelid and ruin the makeup that you've already got going, so you don't want that. So just wait for a bit. Grab your curler and curl the lashes. mascara and add it but be careful because you don't want to touch the eyeshadow now I'm gonna grab my eBay eyelashes I don't know if she's wearing eyelashes or not they could be like really thin ones like this but I'm gonna put them on anyway now I'm gonna take my bonding glue and this is what I use for a lash glue if you've watched my other makeup tutorials then you will know that I'm just going to put some on the end of my tweezer and add a really thin layer just because I have no eyeliner on the inner corner so I can't have the glue splurge out when I put it on. It has to be as precise as possible. sticks and then it unsticks later and it's just so annoying. Eyelashes done. Now time to do the face. Right so I am going to grab my L'Oreal True Match foundations. One is in 3N and the other one is in 2D. And grab your beauty blender and blend. Now I'm going to take my Bourjois Radiance Reveal Concealer, which I used before on the eyelid. And blend that all in. And I'm going to take the setting powder that I used for my eyelid. I'm just going to take a bigger brush just to make sure that I have blended it out so there's no white patches because boy I have been out when there are white patches and oh, that don't photograph well it looks so weird, it ruins your photo so just make sure you brush it off well now we're going to finish the under eyes seeing as we have our concealer on I'm going to use this thin little rounded brush and I'm going to take the first light colour that we used which was the blazing from the Huda Beauty Desert Dusk palette and I'm going to take that underneath the eye and I'm only going to take it inside corner and the outside corner of the eye because that is the only sections she has it on as well and then with the same brush I am going to take the Rose Gold Palette Remastered and use the glitter which I used for the middle of the eye which is Trust Fund. And I'm gonna add some mascara to the bottom section of my eyelashes. She doesn't have any mascara so you guys can either stick to that or you can add mascara, it's up to you. And I'm also gonna add some to the corners eyelashes because I feel like they're really thin eyelashes and the makeup is quite a lot so I kind of want the eyelashes to stand out a bit. 
Now let's continue with the contouring. I'm not gonna do it as heavy because she doesn't really have much contouring, but I'm gonna make this a bit more westernized. So I am gonna add a bit of color to my face because I generally don't suit being pale. She looks beautiful. She looks like Snow White, but me? No, 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 no. Oh guys, I failed to mention, sorry, it's just because I'm a bit tired. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal. You've got it in toast and the lighter colour is almond. Now, light contour on the cheeks because she's literally got hardly anything on there but blush. And a little bit of toast. And here's my angle brush to blend it. Grabbing my foundation and I'm gonna need another section and blend away from the line and then make the line less sharp by using the brush to kind of buff it out and then I'm gonna take this random eBay palette I don't even know if it was eBay or Amazon and I'm going to use this eyeshadow because I don't own any blushes and she's got a lot on and put it on the apple of my cheeks and I'm going to use this brush to do it that's quite a lot to be fair but I'm hoping I can blend it out time for some highlight which makes the makeup usually blend together quite well and this is my MAC Whisper of Guilt highlight Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I do not have Irene's lip color whatsoever, but I'm gonna add a nice light pink to this lip because I think it would go well. I'm gonna do a brown lip and then like a nude color in the middle. And this is a random Rimmel Soft Coal. It says eyeliner pencil, but I'm gonna use it for my lips, you know what I'm saying? A pencil is a pencil. So you guys can either leave it with this nude or, oh my god, I didn't even show you what I used next. So it was Lime Crimes Marshmallow. I think this is a bit too light and like dull. So I'm gonna add like a pinky lip gloss on top. Cause her lips are pink, they're just not glossy. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Make it my own a little bit. And for the final touch, I'm gonna add the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in metallic rose. Now, time for me to dry my hair because the look is over, but I am not going to showcase it with my hair all wet like this. So, I'll be right back. This is the overall look from Irene that I tried to replicate. Obviously, I did my own little twist. I hope it was easy to follow, and I hope you're having a nice day, evening, night, whenever you're watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And thank you so much to Bella once again, who actually suggested a look that she wanted to see. If there's any other looks that you guys would like to see from me, then do leave your suggestions in the comments below. And see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!